Hey guys, this is what I've been wanting to show you for uh, quite some time and you could definitely see a better perspective from up here especially by the garage area which is awesome there's Nintendo Land right there pretty small to be a Nintendo Land section but you know you could definitely see a lot of interesting rock work going on down there or I think that is actually the front but there's the danger zone where we go in right there and then they're probably going to be doing a whole lot more but on the side of the building overall looks really really amazing and I'm pretty sure they're still going with it they're not even completely done so we're gonna get down there here in a minute uh, I just wanted to kind of get a a different perspective and a different overview look sorry about my phone I wish it would have done a lot more better or for that tree blocking the way but yeah this is really cool I like it people come here rain or shine this is this is crazy um, it doesn't look that bad down there so we're gonna go here in a little while and check it out by the way I'm up in the garage area in case you were wondering to get this view alright my friends even on a rainy day people still come here because they're crazy like me if you ask me this is going to be fairly really interesting to see once it's up the building looks really really cool I can tell you this rain or shine people still come to Universal Studios on a, on a Sunday this is crazy look it's raining right now and I, I, I totally forgot to bring my umbrella as usual guys, today we are inside the park it's not so shabby uh, the rain does go on and off every now and then but you know considering that uh, people still go during a weekday no matter what regardless anyways but you know there's the illumination building over there and apparently they still have the Lunar New Year going on and Waterworld also plays during the rain too which is pretty insane so we're gonna go check out there's Curious George Curious being in the rain check out all the wait times 10 minutes Transformers 20 minutes Mummy Waterworld at 145 Animal Actors at 130 special effects at 3 o'clock and yeah not bad at all especially on a Sunday so if you really want to you know check this place out uh, yeah I highly recommend there's Simpsons Rives 35 minutes wait as usual Kung Fu Panda 10 minutes not bad Despicable Me 25 uh, Forbidden Journey 10 minutes wow Fly the Hippogriff only 5 minutes and Olivia Banders 10 minutes Studio Tour wow 40 whopping minutes that's Pretty crazy. Uh, 15 minutes walking dead. All right. Well, there you go. So, Curious George is out. Um, Hello Kitty is out, all dressed up in the Lunar New Year too as well. Yeah, seven minutes. I think I'm gonna do that entirely separate. So that way, uh, that video will be like a separate thing. And that way, I can just upload that one first because that was really really awesome. I never thought that I would be able to talk to Mr. Ping for uh, the year of the pig. Uh, he doesn't know what next year it will be because it's too far ahead. But I guess he's never, I'm pretty sure he's seen the movie Back to the Future. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's that noticeable that you would say something like that. It's just very, very cool. He did say congratulations. I don't know if you still remember me from that time. But, uh, yeah. Only time will tell. Guys, same stuff as usual. Uh, they even got a lot of Ghostbusters stuff. If you want to buy worth that's $400, between $100, bucks, $600 for the Ecto-1, and uh, also for the Peaky Meter, which is like around uh, 500 bucks. That's not bad, actually. Oh, it does have the lines. Hmm. Maybe I should do some modding on mine. 
down here we got Frankenstein and lots of other props from different films. I seriously still want that right there. It's like $95 for the ET and a Back to the Future uh, display, which is amazing. A lot of cool stuff going on. Yeah, not bad. As usual, if you want to buy some Back to the Future merch, they have that here too, and an awesome Back to the Future sign that they got going on there. A lot of cool uh, pop, pop, Doc Brown and Marty, and also those things down there. The Vinny, not bad. And a $1,500 hoverboard, which is yeah, signed by everybody and the, the authentic vacation that they got. I like that display they got there. It's really cool. And some Back to the Future shirts. Backpack. Dave. It's really hard to believe I'm going to be a father soon. Best wife, best husband. Best mom. He's going to be a mom. And they got some E.T. figures over here. And a nice, awesome E.T. Uh, little small version with a spaceship. A spaceship. Pretty cool. Uh, some Jurassic Park cups you can get. Some more Jurassic Park merch besides Jurassic World too as well. And a lot of King Kong stuff. Yeah, you can buy yourself one of these too. It's really awesome. Ah, hand painted. Nice, and ET mugs. Amazing that the crowd levels today are really uh, are really not too bad compared to if it starts to rain most likely the next heavy rain will probably be later on but yeah compared to here in Florida it's really really insane uh, how different the details are on the walls and especially the Florida version oh by the way if you guys plan to go to Luigi's Pizza, and if you ever decide to go buy a pizza, it's going to cost you like around 9 somewhere between $8.50, and if you want to buy two small pizzas, it'll cost you like roughly around uh, $25. Those, those pizzas right there should be roughly around $25. Uh, all in total, it'll be like $30. It's insane for something like that, but... You know, it is what it is. You know, imagine if Back to the Future, the ride was still here, and then uh, all of this would be Hill Valley themed, you know. Here's an idea on the crowd levels, just to give you a theory. All right, so right now we are gonna go downstairs and we're gonna check out all the details on what they've done with Jurassic World because there's a mural, an awesome mural on the wall that's going on right now and possibly a watch water world. Unfortunately, I cannot connect to their internet because of my phone. Such everything is all bluish. I don't know why. This is why I need to get uh, a better DC camera, if you know what I mean. What's up guys? Today I give you, look at this. They got the boats legitimately uncovered, but the boats are out, even uncovered more so, which is crazy. Uh, here's, here's what I don't get, guys. Why didn't they not do this a long time ago? I mean, they, they could have put this awesome mural on the side of the wall. It's a T-Rex. Huh. They should have done that a long time ago. Wow. I think they carved it in. I thought they were painting it at first, but it looks like they actually physically carved it in the walls. Wow. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. I really, really hoping. This is going to be a cool freaking ride. Look at that mural. 
It's got it's got the T Rex on it. That is amazing. It's 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 awesome. I can't. I uh, I can't express this enough how cool it is because. Good job, Universal. Well done. Well, amazingly designed. The boats are amazing, by the way. Silver and blue. Uh, I don't know how they're going to have the um, Steven Spielberg main plaque that's on the floor, so I'm kind of hoping to still keep that, but we'll see. Once again, in case you guys are wondering, they took out uh, the Spinosaurus, unfortunately. It was only half a Spinosaurus, but still, I mean, come on. Still don't know what they're gonna do with that sign over there. They, they're probably gonna still keep it up and change it to world. At least that's how I think that's going on. But the color scheme of the building looks really, really cool, I gotta say. And oh look, here comes blue. Blue, the coaster theme will be happening soon in Universal Florida. Wow. Overall, I really like the new color look. Doesn't that sound like the Terminator where John Connor gets out and then you know it's the same. Oh, it's her! Hi! Wow! That's really awesome. Still nothing going on on that sign right there. But, uh, there is a lot of cool construction going on. Definitely for sure it's going to be interesting once it opens. And there's a Mosasaurus once again, just chilling, uh, getting ready to scare all of us. And eventually, that Jurassic World sign will be right up there. And I don't know what they're going to do with... The Steven Spielberg plaque that they have right there. But uh, overall, you'll have to use the restroom, which at least they have for everyone still. You can walk around here, around the corner, and thankfully it's there. How did I not notice this? I hope they keep that one there, like literally. Well, there you go, guys. There's the original plaque. Pretty amazing. Wow. Overall, 20 minutes for the mummy ride. Not bad for a Sunday. Okay, start with coffee over there. And uh, Transformers is 10 minutes wait. Not bad, especially on a Sunday. So we're gonna go take you guys over here really quick. It also rains off and on. Yeah, that, that happens every night. Time to time it happens, every once in a while. Okay. I, don't mind the noise that's going on in the background, but um, yeah, this is something that I couldn't be able to show you before because I was running out of time, trying to get ready to go home in a hurry, and there's this section where we had Stranger Things for last year's Halloween Horror Nights, which was a lot of fun, and hopefully go to Halloween Horror Nights this year if we can, uh, but we don't know if we're going to be able to do those things now that we got a newborn coming soon to our lives and you guys will get to be introduced by the newborn so here we go uh nintendo land guys this is it i like the view i like how they chopped everything down to make it all flat ready to go it definitely looks like it's it's just going to be and all the other side on this side is pretty much the same stuff as we see over here that crow over there is like dominating Universal right now because of Hitchcock the birds you know got the birds going on there's only one bird one crow look at that crow dominating the park 
He's like, yeah, I'm just going to check out Nintendo Land. I don't, I don't care what anyone else says. Yeah, that bird. You're so lucky. You're the luckiest bird, you know that? Sheesh, that's crazy. So, yeah, uh, possibly the entrance will be right here, and we'll be walking through by Transformers as usual, and we'll see what the next four years of this transformation will be like. That's gonna, how long it's gonna take, like four years, but it looks like they already got the foundation going. It's really cool. So usually when we drive by, the, the tram will always go this way, which will go on later on here in a second, and you'll see the other side of the Jurassic World, uh, all that construction going on down there too. Uh, but first, we're gonna devour and go on Transformer. Look at this guys, somewhat of a line of a line, but absolutely 10 minute wait, in case for all those who are curious for Transformers. Oh, by the way, if you plan to go on Transformers, if you want to get a vehicle to yourself, I, I highly recommend by getting a vehicle to yourself because it's a lot of fun screaming your healing scream like you never scream. There's the Allspark scream before you know and it's a lot more fun you know especially you get to uh, enjoy yourself a lot more so there's a tip for you for me. Usually this is like the the 45 minute section right here. Wow. He has made the run in simulations, but he has never faced field duty before, much less in combat conditions. So anything you can help him with might make all the difference. Yeah. Thank you, Just recruits. Up. You and good luck. Get a vehicle to yourself. One day Ask them politely. Okay, here we go. Recruits. This is where. Yeah. Our I'm not too much like to speak with you. Stand by. Recruits. If you want to get a vehicle to yourself, get a vehicle to yourself. That's perfect. Great foot opportunities, but keep an eye on them so they don't get wet. Finally, for your safety, those around you, plus, please not use selfie sticks or you're on board the tram. All right. Universal Studios began in 1912. Our founder's name is Carl Lovely. There he is on your screens. A German immigrant. He found Universal Pictures in New Jersey. He brought the area out here in 1915. There he is getting the key to Universal City on opening day, March 15th, 1915. He always wanted a city dedicated to filmmaking, where from fire department, police department, post office, bank, our own zip code, were called Universal City. We're entering the part of Universal City called the Front Lot, which houses our 28 sound stages. Yeah. You're seeing our movie posters on the right. We have over 8,000 movies. Take a look to your left, you'll see sound stage 12. Can anybody tell me what's filming in stage 12? Can you read the sound stage? The Voice, hosted by Carson Daly. Whoa. Hi everybody, I'm wow. Carson Daly from NBC's The Voice. I want to welcome you to the Universal Front Lot. Our show is filmed on stage 12. It happens to be the largest sound stage on the Universal Lot. Take a look. All of these movies, all these very large sets, were built and filmed in stage 12 hours. Build any kind of set, build any kind of world. We go from our largest sound stage, sound stage 12, to our busiest sound stages on your left, home to many. TV series including Superstar, yeah, and including Colony, starring Sarah Wayne Callies and Josh Holloway. It's a TV series. Also, six.
Hairspray Live was built right here. We go from Brownstone Street to Road that once had a famous DeLorean on it. Road? Well, we're going, we don't need Road. Take a look to your left. You'll see the famous clock tower featured in what popular movie? Back to the Future. That's right, Back to the Future. It was actually the back lot of the courthouse square that inspired the entire climax to Back to the Future. I had seen something on the clock tower on that ledge. It was the ledge bump out wide. And I was standing inside looking at the ledge. And I already had vertigo. I just thought there was no way in the world, no way I could stand on that. I was up there for quite a while. Of course, I had a cable. <laughs> <laughs> Set of Home and Family, a daytime talk show on the Hallmark Channel, hosted by Debbie Montanopoulos and Cameron Matheson. We're now entering a hot set, so everything is in place for filming the next scene. Please remain seated while we're in the soundstage, so nothing on the set is disturbed. It's a subway platform set featured in many productions, including Fox's hit TV series Bones, starring David Boreanaz and Emily Deschanel. Also featured in Beverly Hills Cop 3 with Eddie Murphy. One of those rare stages in Hong has two levels. There's another set above. It's a San Francisco street set. You want me to stay on this tour? We left this set on this level. It's be Whoa! day today hope you all enjoyed everything what's going on here in the park and uh, not a whole lot but so much constructions going on and uh, welcome to you all of you new subscribers to subscribe to the channel uh, it's 42 yeah so uh, if you guys like what you see here on this channel if you want to subscribe for some more content just like this let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video. That mural was awesome. That, that was like the coolest mural I have ever, ever. I wish you would have had that a long time ago. You know? Harry Potter right there. Really cool place. Uh, I didn't bring my wand with me. But I'm about to get on a forbidden journey. Uh, kill some time for another hour. Then off to eat some food because I am hungry. As always, it's DDR USA. My name is Jason. I'm your host. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too as well. DDR USA slash vlogs. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Have a good one. It's cold, right? It's been raining all day.